YouTube and welcome to lesson 74 of the Microsoft Word tutorial series and today we're going to start up with references inside of Microsoft Word. So over here inside of references you can see that there are a number of um, tools that you can reference with. So right now we're going to start with citation and referencing and here is the citation menu right here and here are the styles. So over here in the styles you can actually select the style that you want. Let's say for example uh, I want to select AP, just select AP, you want to select MLA, just select MLA, here's the Harvard, maybe that's what I'm comfortable with or that may be my university standard, so I'm just going to click on Harvard right there. So over here, once you click Harvard, this has been changed into the Harvard referencing standard. So let's cite a book and a website right here and let's see how that works out. So let's say, for example, I have actually searched for Autodesk Maya right here and I went over here. I'm using scholar.google.com because that is where I get all the details for uh, my referencing content right here. So let's say I'm going to go over here. This is the microcomputer uh, tomography and this is the article that I want to reference. So what I want, may, want to do is, let's say I cited this source, the, cited this out. Uh, over here from the abstract, let's say for example, I'm going to copy and paste this. Now you're not supposed to do this in your assignment. However, uh, I'm going to use uh, inverted commas right here and then I'm just going to paste the text. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to keep text only. If you want the format, you just click on format. I just want to paste the text in my case. So here I may want to insert the citation right here. So I'm going to go over here, go to insert citation. As I do not have any source, I'm just going to say add new source right here. And over here, you can choose the type of source that you have. So in this, in my case, I actually selected a website. So I'm going to select a website right here. So this asks me a certain thing. So over here, there's my URL. And if I click here, you can actually see the example right here. So I'm going to copy this out. This is my URL. So I'm going to go back to my Microsoft Word and paste this out. It doesn't matter if it is long. The day access today is 23rd. Um, uh, so maybe I'm going to type in something like the day access. Maybe I want to, uh, uh, um, uh, I may have accessed this beforehand. So I'm going to say this is my 21st May. So you, I mean, I can just type this. This is the month I access is May. And then year I, I access is 2018 right there. All right. So 2018, May 21st, I access this. And the year of publication, that is important. So the year of publication is 18 September 2008. And since we are using Harvard style, we don't actually need the month and the date. Uh, it is required in MLA, however. So I'm just going to add in the year of publication right there. And the name of uh, web page right there. All right. So uh, you can see that uh, the name of web page is at the top. What I actually like to do over here is I'm going to, I want to right click view page source right here. And over here, you can actually find something called title. So just click um, uh, control F and over here, you see the title. Simply copy this out and paste that out right there because that is the title of the web page itself and you're going to get it exact like this. And over here you can see that there's the author and the corporate author. You add in corporate author if the author's name is in organization format. In my case, we have the author itself. So I'm just going to add in the author right there. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to click on edit right there because I want to use that to add in the author name. So right now I got friend. Fred Rich, so that's the first author I have. If I have two authors, I do have to add in two authors just like that. So this is the first name right here. I'm going to press Control X and I'm going to go to uh, last name Control V right there and add the first author just like this. And this is the second author, so I'm going to press Control C right here. I'm going to go over here. This is the first author and this is the last name right there. And then this is the middle name, which is just the initials, but doesn't matter. And just write it in and add it right there. So these are my authors right there. So if you want to add in, let's say corporate, so SPIE, this library, you can add that as a corporate author. But in our case, we have the name, so we only write this one. You only use the corporate author when you don't have the names of the actual author. So I'm just going to press OK right here. And you can see that this is the citation that I have in proper formatting. And if I were to make any changes, go over here. If you were to go and edit citation, you can see that I can suppress the author of the year. So if I want to suppress the author and the title, I'm going to press OK. It'll only show the date right here. In our case, I want the author. So I'm going to go into edit the source. Sorry. I'm going to go to edit the citation right here and allow the author name to be there. And if I were to edit the citation right here, let's say go over here and then I can also convert this uh, uh, citation into static text, but I don't want to do that 
because that will actually remove the dynamic ability of the static, uh, static content. So I'm going to go over here as well and I'm going to go to edit source right here and you can see that if I were to change the name into Frank, let's say I had got Frank as my name, uh, Fedrich is the last name so I'm going to say Fedrich, I'm going to just change the D and press OK yeah, and press Yes, you can see that it actually changes over here as well. So I'm going to so say edit source right here so I'm just going to go to edit source over here and then drag that out just like that. So this is how you cite from a website and if you want to call that out again just go to insert citation and just click it and it'll be there back for you. So now I want to uh, source site cite another source from the book so for that I'm gonna use Google book right here so I'm gonna say motion graphics right here I'm gonna search it out and motion graphics is here so there's history of motion graphics that's the book that I have and there's no ebook available over here at the moment so I'm just gonna go back and select another source right here so I guess I have the scanned version over here so I'm gonna go over here and then select a, a bit of random pages right here where I want to cite the source from let's say for example over here from this section right here. So all of the pages are loading. So let's say I want to uh, cite from this source right here. So uh, this is the page I want to cite from. So I guess this is around, all right. So this is the page I want to cite from. So let's see uh, things that I have. All right, there you go, okay. So this doesn't actually have a page number, but you can see that the page number is displayed over here. So this is page three to 61, so I'm gonna have it uh, reference from 61 right there. All right, there you go. All right, so over here, uh, this is the page 361 right here. You can see that this is the page right there. All right, 11, uh, 10, 11. So you can see that the page number is quite odd for this. But anyways, I'm gonna just select this out. So I'm gonna just gonna go over here. So this is page 3. Uh, 3-62 so I'm just gonna go over here and add the citation over here so I'm gonna go into insert citation add new source and this is gonna be a book section right there so now over here I'm gonna say uh, this is the author so I'm just gonna go over here and see the book author details uh, in Google Books I can actually go to about the book section right here and then select the author so I'm gonna go over here at the bottom you can see that this is the author that I have right here. It's John, uh, John Kranzner right there. All right, and then go into edit. This is the first name right here, and that's the last one. I'm going to remove that out, and I'm going to remove that out, and add it in just like this. So over here in the title, I'm just going to select the title of the book right there. So let's copy this out, and then over here, let's paste this. This is a book title actually, and then the title of the chapter that means so I'm gonna go over here I guess the third chapter I'm, I do have to look at the chapter itself so this is my uh, third chapter and that's motion graphics in television I cannot actually copy and paste this so I'll have to type it manu manually motion graphics in uh, television that's the title of my uh, a chapter right there so the year of publication just gonna go back into uh, the details and over here uh, you can see that um, the year of publication, this is the uh, 2013 version. So I'm just going to go back and paste the year. So pages over there. So the pages is the pages from which I actually source. Uh, take the citation. So over here, you can see that these are the pages. Uh, let's say I'm going to have the pages 543 right there. So 543 to 546. All right. So over here, this is going to be 543 to 546. Uh, 45 just like that all right so that's my page number right there and the city of publication is supposed to be here so this is the publisher and uh, this is the publisher right here I'm just gonna copy this out and over here onto the section I'm gonna add in the publisher and the editor all right this is the edition right there there is no editor uh, over here. This is just the author right there. And there's no editor option right there. So I know, don't need to fill that up. Uh, the editor is only needed like if you don't have the author name. But anyways, this is the publisher. And I don't actually have the uh, publishing option right here. So I don't know where this is from. So I'm just going to search it in Google uh, right there. And over here, you can see that this is a company and it is located over here. So I'm just going to search it out. Uh, is an international company originating in England? All right. So this is uh, the main branch. All right. I'm, I want to see where this is actually located right here. So let's see. This is the uh, publisher right here in the contact us session. Yeah, it is uh, kind of like 
um, um, something over here. So this is where the uh, li mm, this is uh, two and four park square right there. All right. So I guess where is this located? I need the city name. So I'm gonna have and this is the Milton Park right there. All right. Uh, so this is is this any city? All right. Let me just confirm that out because uh, this is quite. Uh, this is. Uh, Alright, this is a town in England, right, that's uh, the information that we need, so I'm just gonna paste this in right there. So the editor, I don't need to add anything over here, but anyways, uh, the editors are usually in the book itself. So I'm gonna go into the top right here, so this is the third edition, and this is the third edition itself. Alright, then you got New York Times, third edition, first published by this, and then alright, so there's no editor as mentioned over here. All right, so no, nothing mentioned over here. Maybe in the last page or something. Uh, all right, so let's just leave that out because there we have the author name already. All right, so you can see that everything has been filled up. Just press OK right there, and you can see that this is here right there. So I can simply type in something that I got over here. So this is, let's see, uh, over here in the beginning, this is the reference from the book. All right, so referencing way is quite... Good. So usually at the end, what you want to have, what you want to create is a reference list or a bibliography list. So what you can simply do is click on bibliography right here, and then go on to uh, click on reference. And any one of these is good because the title is the same. So just gonna click it out, and you can see that I have my reference list uh, dialog over there, and this is in Harvard referencing style. So now, if you have uh, added, added in a bibliography, uh, this will actually show, on, uh, show up in the same list. So you have to do a manual division of the work right there. And if you update anything else, you can simply click on Update Citation and Bibliography, and it'll update uh, by yourself. So now, this is how you can ref uh, add in references, um, uh, manage sources, add in bibliography and citation inside of Microsoft Word. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.